Today's video is electrical wiring class 2. Electrical drawing is always made between two lines. One line is our phase line and second line is our neutral line. So this is our phase line and this one is neutral line. Now we know that in electrical connection, simplest connection is always of bulb. So first of all, we will learn to connect a bulb. Friends, this is a type of symbol used for bulb. So this is symbol for bulb. Now we have to connect this bulb with phase supply and neutral supply. Now from phase terminal of bulb connect a wire and to the phase supply line here connect wire with phase supply line. Now with neutral terminal of bulb connect one wire and directly connect wire with neutral line. Connection of this bulb is done. Now if power supply remains on then this bulb will always glow because to control this bulb we didn't use any switch. Now if we want to control this bulb then in series with this bulb connect a switch. So here we are going to connect switch. This is the symbol of switch. Now if power supply remains on then till here only it will be supplied. It cannot flow further from here because here a switch is connected and this switch is in open condition. If we press this switch then it will be connected like this and current will flow from here and this bulb glows. So friends in this way we connect a bulb along with a switch. Now through this switch only we have to control a power socket. Then how to do connection look here. This symbol is of single phase power socket. There are three terminals in this. One is for phase supply, one is for neutral supply and one is connected with earth for earthing. So first let us connect with earth. To connect with earth this thicker pin here connect this pin directly with earth through a wire. Just make a symbol of earth here and connect directly. So friends I connected this with earth. Now phase terminal and neutral terminal here to connect these we will connect a wire here. This one is phase terminal. Connect a wire from here and with output terminal of switch connect this wire. So in this way we will connect this wire. Now neutral terminal which is left with this terminal connect a wire and directly to this neutral line here connect this wire. Friends you can see from here current will flow and come till here. It is open here current cannot flow forward now if we press this switch then one current will flow from here and one current will also flow from here. This bulb will glow for sure but along with this at this phase terminal also power is supplied. Now if we connect any equipment with this socket that equipment will work. Friends if we want to control this socket separately I mean through this switch we don't want to control by another switch we want to control then how we will do it look here first of all this wire connected here remove this from here we will connect a switch here place a switch here this is our switch from here to above terminal connect with this phase supply now see this socket here is controlled by this switch and this bulb is controlled by this switch friends this was a basic electrical connection through which I am explaining how any electrical equipment is connected in single line diagram and how to draw. Friends now we will take a contactor and we are going to learn how to do connection of this. First of all let's take a contactor. Friends this is a symbol of contactor in which there are two terminals. One for phase supply and another for neutral supply. So this is a symbol of contactor. You have seen this type of contactor. In this, this A1 terminal here, this A1 terminal is this upper one at which we connect phase supply. And this terminal at lower side is A2 terminal. At this terminal, we connect neutral supply. Here is A2 terminal, here we provide neutral supply and this one is A1 terminal, here we provide phase supply. In the coil of contactor, I mean when at A1 phase supply and at A2 neutral supply is provided, then this contactor got pickup. After pickup, auxiliary contact inside, I mean NO and NC, get changed. It means auxiliary contact 
that is no contact will become nc after contact pickup and nc contact becomes no friends now we are going to learn control wiring of this contactor first of all this neutral line here connect this directly with the neutral supply now this a1 terminal here at this terminal we have to provide phase supply so directly from here provide phase supply to a1 terminal right now coil of contactor is connected directly with phase supply if power supply is on then this contactor will remain on always we can't turn on or off this so now in this circuit to turn on contactor we are going to connect start push button here friends from here i broke the circuit now in the middle we are connecting start push button so let's connect a start push button symbol of start push button is made like this now see here is already a phase supply and current flowing from here is till this point this is our normally open push button we use normally open push button for start command when we press this push button this circuit will be completed and current flowing from here will go to coil of contactor after this contactor got pick up and get turned on this coil of contactor will remain picked up till the time we press this push button if we release this push button then this contactor will again turn off so friends what we can do for not pressing the push button continuously for this we use auxiliary contact of this contactor in this contactor there are two auxiliary contact no and nc question is which auxiliary contact of this contactor we should use so that this contactor or this circuit can hold this contactor so friends we will use no contact here i am going to tell you a reason why we should use no contact friends first make this circuit symbol of auxiliary contact of contactor is of this type now we are going to connect this auxiliary contact with this circuit for connecting with circuit this upper point of auxiliary contact here connect this with this circuit in this way and lower one also connect with the circuit like this till now i didn't press this push button in this condition power supply will remain till here and till this terminal and till this terminal it cannot flow further from here because this push button here as well as auxiliary contact both these are no i mean normally open both these are open so current cannot flow further from here but when we press this start push button then current flow forward and turn on this contactor friends you know that the moment contactor turn on then this auxiliary contact here will become no to nc so when contactor turn on it becomes nc now even if we release this push button still this contactor remain on because this auxiliary contact has become nc and current flowing from here and through this auxiliary contact current flows to the coil of the contactor now contactor will remain on always so friends in this way by using auxiliary contact we can hold this contactor now if we want to turn off this contactor then how we can do this friends for this we have to connect push button which type of push button we must use so that contactor can be turned off i broke this circuit from here now at this place we will connect a stop push button so you must have know that for stop push button we use normally close push button symbol of normally close push button is of this type so this is our stop push button here is nc contact you can see line which is coming from here it is connecting with the other line it means in normal condition it is nc when we press this it opens and restricts the current to flow forward now this circuit we made this is circuit of dol starter if we have one more contactor which we have to use in same circuit and we have to give an interlock also interlock will be like if this contactor turn on then this contactor must remain off and when this contactor turn on this contactor must remain off so in this condition how to do connection listen carefully first of all connect this contactor with the neutral supply now see what is the condition here first condition is when this contactor is turned on this one must not be turned on and when this one is on then this one must not be turned on 
what we call this this is known as interlocking it means both the contactors are interlocked with each other how to interlock these two contactors with each other look here first of all i am going to break this circuit here we broke the circuit now here we are going to use nc contact so friends this is a nc contact similarly we will use nc contact here also so this is our nc contact this nc contact is of which one look this auxiliary contact here this auxiliary contact is of this contactor friends auxiliary contact of this one is used here and auxiliary contact of this contactor is used here just to explain you i used these arrows if you get any electrical circuit there you won't find any arrows like this but there is a marking over there like suppose this contactor here is c1 i give a name to this contactor as c1 similarly to other contactor i name this as c2 nc contact of c2 contactor is used here let's name this also c2 nc contact i mean nc contact of c2 this auxiliary contact here is named as c2 nc contact similarly for this contactor auxiliary contact of this is used here let's name this also it will be c1 whose auxiliary contact is nc so name will be c1 nc by this name we would know this is nc contact of c1 contactor now complete this circuit like this friends you can see here i used two dol starter but here two interlocks are used i mean here i used interlocking you can see this c2 contactor here nc contact of this is used here and for c1 contactor nc contact is used here now what is the benefit of this so listen carefully first of all in off condition power supply will remain till here similarly current flows from here and will remain till here similarly here also power supply will remain till here but from here power supply is not moving further because it is open now friends see in normal condition it is open here here also here and here also due to open in all four places power supply cannot flow further and this is why contactor is not getting on now let's press this start push button the moment we press start push button current starts flowing from here and this current let the c1 contactor to turn on but when c1 contactor is turned on some changes take place in c1 what are these changes let's see this contactor we have when it get on n contact becomes nc and nc contact becomes no okay now see here the c1 contactor here no of this is used here and here nc is used so when this contactor turn on this point here will become nc in this way and this nc here this nc becomes no here circuit get break now see when this contactor turned on this contact become nc and this one becomes no now what happen is current flows from here if we release this push button it got back but this one is nc now so current is flowing from here to the contactor and this contactor remains picked up but along with this when contactor is on this becomes no benefit of no contact here is this power supply line is open from here now even if we press this start push button current will not flow further because it is open from here this is why both these contactors cannot be turned on together till the time it remains on this one will not become nc but when this contactor is turned off this becomes nc now both these auxiliary contacts are nc and here is no because this contactor is not turned off when it is off it goes back to normal condition in normal condition this will be no so let's name this c1 no similarly this one is c2 no now friends see in normal condition it is open here here also here and here also these won't let current to flow further and auxiliary contacts which are used here is nc so circuit is complete here now if we press this push button then this circuit will be completed 
it is complete here so current flows ahead and this contactor got picked up when this contactor picked up two changes will occur first change is this auxiliary contact here auxiliary contact no of c2 this will become nc when contactor picked up and along with this at same time this nc contact here this become no it means it will be open here this auxiliary contact is of this picked up contactor only so when this contactor is picked up no1 becomes nc and which was nc now becomes no now this is open so current will not flow from here even if we press push button still it won't let current to flow forward so this contactor will remain off when we turn off this contactor then this will become no and this auxiliary contact again becomes nc so this one becomes nc and now this is in normal condition so friends in this way we can interlock contactors now you are thinking you know this kind of circuit this is a circuit of reverse forward dual starter in this we use two contactors and we interlock both these contactors together so that both the contactors must not turn on at a same time now let's modify this circuit little bit modify in a way that these two stop push button we use let's make it a single one for this what we will do let's remove this stop push button from here now in this circuit this start push button here let's connect it here with this now see in this circuit supply comes through stop push button only so you saw we removed a circuit from here and with the output supply of this stop push button we directly connected this if any of these contactors turn on to turn it off we have to press only one stop push button on pressing this stop push button whichever contactor is on during that time will turn off but to start we have to press a particular start push button to turn on c1 contactor this start push button will be used and for c2 contactor this start push button need to be used so friends let's end this video here friends if you like this video then do like share and comment on my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel Thanks for watching this video.